let's back back to this Prius air conditioning 2011 2012 I wanted to step this up a notch for the guys over in Prius chat because if you're new coming to my channel or you just stumbled upon this video for your Prius you will want to go visit Prius chat uh, PriusChat.com and that's a very good place to go get information and help there's a lot of very knowledgeable people over there and uh, help you with some of your repairs or find out a good place where to go so here's TechStream we're hooked up to TechStream right now so just to let you know the vehicle's been going for 15 minutes right now our compressor is at 3000 RPMs now let's listen to this compressor at 3000 RPMs so I'm going to take the camera Put it right down by the compressor, nice and black down here, sorry guys. You hear the fans are louder than the compressor right now. This is normal operation. And we're going, there's two more videos prior to this video on setting this up for recharge, proper recharge. Right now I'm taking the temperature with the Testo gauge on the line before it goes into the condenser to give you the inlet condenser temperature and then the testo gauge on the liquid line coming out of the condenser then i have one more sensor right at the headrest right here where your head would be and of course you got a cool car because you charged it right and you didn't use the little jerk off cans and topped it off because every Prius, when you're finished with it, right, is always cold. And so our inlet temperature to the condenser is 121 degrees. Our outlet temperature of the condenser on the liquid line is 80 degrees. And our cabin air temperature where I have the sensor at the headrest, right, where your face would be. And no, the air is not directed towards the face. I have the uh, air vents on the duct facing away from the driver I have the one over on the far corner at the window here directed up this way away from the driver and I have the other two directed away from the driver this is the actual cabin temperature 53 degrees inside on our tech stream like I said we're driving at 3,000 rpms we're just cruising we're at max cold we got our ambient air temperature sensor. It's 68 degrees outside right now. Uh, and look at it. The room temperature sensor inside the Prius, 57 degrees. That's located down on the dash. Mine is at 52 degrees. I believe mine over theirs. Trust me. Um, pressures. Let's get back to normal pressures. Come on guys, let's, what, what are normal pressures that you're supposed to be after you added some cans of refrigerant? If you've seen the first video, from then until now, what do you see? You see when I started it was 173 PSI on, on the high side right here. Now we're at 108. What is normal? Tell me what is normal. Uh, look at our superheat. We're at a 1718 superheat right now. What's our subcooling? Our subcooling is floating somewhere around 12 degrees subcooling. What's our suction line temperature on this vehicle on this day? It's 54 degrees. There's our 80 degree liquid line temperature. And that's using the clamp on connector. And here's our 81 degree liquid line temperature. And that's using this clamp on temperature down here it's ahead of this so we lost the little temperature as it took this little trip from this location going up about 18 inches of aluminum in line to this we lost about one degree so it's very important where you put your clamps because you will get different readings where your clamps are I'm just doing this for test if I really wanted a very accurate number I would come down here take off the grill and I would clamp on to the line at the liquid just where it leaves the condenser I'm doing this for a test just to show you guys so a few degrees loss ain't gonna be no big deal but what I'm trying to get across to everybody these normal pressures and these normal temperatures that everybody's coming up with uh, giving information out on say forums like Prius chat or something like that if you don't know what normal or not normal is in the first place how can you give out information without even knowing 
it changes. It changes from vehicle to vehicle, day to day, humidity, temperature, sun load, all that changes. So let's take a look at this again. Go back to the first video when I started this, I just filled the system and I started it up and compare it to now and tell me what's normal. Tell me that a shop is under the gun that has to make a bonus and has to move really fast and not do the proper evacuation, not do the proper time waiting to make sure everything's on right because they're trying to make a bonus and pump your car out that they're gonna do it right. Okay, so this is the difference. Let you see again. You see our RPMs have fallen down to uh, 2,900 RPMs on the compressor. You could barely, you could, you almost can't hear it. I hear the fan motors more than I do the compressor. Oh, we got to keep the bubble guys happy who like to use sight glasses. So let's keep them happy and show them a picture of a clear sight glass. There you go, clear sight glass keeps those bubble boys happy. And. Um, that is about it and i didn't even take my proper temperature this is not the proper price for me to take temperature i need to pop these clips and slip this down inside all the way back in the crowd back here where it falls down on top of the air filter where you could get down there and reach this is not the proper place to take your entering air temperature into your evaporator to get your proper delta t props let me stress this again this up here taking this temperature or ambient temperature is not the proper place to take your temperature so that's it for now guys i'm signing out i've taken a lot longer than i normally would but this is definitely just geared towards the guys who are on prius chat so they can uh, talk about what are normal pressures and normal temperatures I'll see you guys later. We'll uh, sign out here and adios and good luck.